in this module we'll talk about multifactorial disorders let me mention some of the features of multifactorial disorders a multifactorial trait is governed by by the additive effect of two or more genes but more importantly these genes have a smaller contribution but the contribution for environmental and non genetic influences is the most important in the multifactorial disorders many physiological characters in humans are governed by multifactorial uh, pattern of inheritance for example diabetes height weight blood pressure hair color gout etc you may have noticed that even monozygous twins meaning identical twins you some of you may have monozygous twins or identical twins in your families even if they are reared separately if they are raised separately or they have different eating habits they may achieve different heights and different weights because of nutrition and other environmental factors the multifactorial disorders these are governed by a gaussian distribution let me explain to you what that is here on the screen you can see group of people arranged in a specific way they are arranged according to their height if you collect say a thousand people at random very few and you categorize them uh, you make them stand in lines according to their height you will see that very few people will be say for example 4 feet or 4 from 4 feet to 4.1 feet from 4 feet to 4.1 feet to 4.2 feet you have the next group so on and so forth the majority of the people will fall in the category which is the average of the population as you go to both the extremes very short height or very tall height the number of people will be fewer so this gives rise to a bell shaped curve here you can see on the screen this is gaussian distribution we can apply this to our scenario we are talking about multifactorial disorders so if we have say four or five genes which contribute to a particular feature skin color for example or uh, um, or height or weight we have, we have that we have talked about so these genes plus the environmental factors they will contribute they have an additive effect till that additive effect crosses a arbitrary threshold the arbitrary threshold is pointed out in the slide if we are talking about a multifactorial disorder for example diabetes or blood pressure if a person unfortunately inherits bad copies of genes most uh, several of them are bad plus the dietary style or the lifestyle of that individual also is not very healthy that person will cross the arbitrary threshold and will have will will display that disease the disease will manifest itself so this is basically gaussian distribution and this is how the multifactorial disorders manifest themselves recurrence rate for first degree relatives i'll explain what first degree relatives are in the next slide but let me tell you first degree relatives are for i will mention that first degree relatives are basically who have 50% of our genes in common like parents siblings or children so the recurrence rate is 2% to 7% if we are talking about mendelian genetics we have said that in mendelian genetics even the recessive disorders the siblings have a 25% recurrence chance but in multifactorial it is 2 to 7% because genetics is playing a smaller role as compared to the environmental factors the probability recurrence rate for identical twins is 20 to 40% identical twins basically means they have exactly the same genes in in both individuals have same genes are identical genetically even in them the recurrence rate is not 100% it's not 50% it is 20 to 40% so this is this fact this figure shows basically how important the environmental factors are as compared to the genetic factors here on the screen you can see a graph uh, uh, sorry a pedigree in which which tells us the degree of relationship the first degree relatives are the ones we share our gene 50% of our genes with for example our parents our brothers and sisters our children uh, these are the people 
we have these people are our first degree relatives the second degree relatives of course are the ones with whom we share 25 percent of our genes that category would include our grandparents our aunts and uncles uh, our blood aunt and uncle so not an aunt or uncle by virtue of marriage but an aunt and uncle by virtue of blood relationship so uh, third degree relatives are the ones which will have 12.5 percent uh, genes in common with us so on and so forth so next we will look at the cytogenetic disorders in the next module